Hi everyone, this is Vegas and tonight I'm going to do a video review on some Penny Play ideas for the week of May the 4th. So I'm going to give you guys two fresh Penny Play ideas. Hopefully you reviewed the Penny Play review and link is in the bio below in case you missed that one just to follow up from last week's alerts. And this week we're going to talk about BHAT and CJJD. So let's get started. Okay, so the first one we're talking about is BHAT. This company is called Blue Hat Interactive Entertainment Technology. And as you can see, they were actually a new IPO last year. They actually make interactive entertainment games and toys in China. They do a lot of educational material, mobile games, and a lot of toys with mobile gaming features. They also are very involved in the educational sector. They're very involved with dealing with the schools and providing interactive um, educational content. You know, obviously when you're in school, you gotta keep the students engaged. And I think this is a fantastic platform to do that with um, audio interactive uh, games and educational content. And so you're gonna hear the term AR a lot because that's going to stand for augmented reality. So I'm just going to refer to it as AR. So I want to show you guys here some industry news about the stock. Uh, let's go back to some corporate news. So first of all, um, I do want to mention that they did mention back in March that they do have a patent covering their interactive system based light intensity recognition. And this is basically where it connects a physical toy with the virtual reality content of a game. And they feel that it's a really big breakthrough with regards to the AR technology. So they're very successful um, in the Chinese market. This is a China company. You know, they've got over 4 million users that use the AR racer. And they're also attracting global user base with players in China, Russia, Korea, the UK, and Saudi Arabia. So they feel that the success of this product incorporates their ISB, which is the Interactive System Based Light Intensity Recognition. And you know what? I think there'll be a lot more products. So let's go through their product list. So I just want to show you guys here, as you can see, that as of March 31st, you know, Blue Hat has 178 authorized patents, 645 copyrights, 44 patents that are pending in various stages of the application process. They also have 71 registered trademarks, 27 software copyrights, 14 applications for PCT international patents. I mean, this company's got a lot of stuff going on. So on March 23rd, about a little over a month ago, they did actually announce their fourth quarter unaudited financial results. And as you can see here for their fourth quarter, um, you can see that the revenues increased 18.3%, so 11.8 million. Gross profit increased to 7.9. The income from operations increased year over year to 6.2, and the net income increased to 6.2. So these are really good uh, numbers. They're very pleased to report that they've had a healthy revenue growth, increased profitability, concluding a strong 2019. Now, keep in mind with the coronavirus situation, they obviously could have uh, different numbers when they report in 2020. They obviously know that. Um, so keep that in mind uh, when you are checking this company out. So if you go to finviz.com and you enter the name of the company BHAT, you'll get this beautiful looking chart. Look at this beautiful uptrend. I mean, this is really nice. If you guys look back in August, I mean, look at this. This was a $6 stock. So the fact that it's come down more than 50% is absolutely insane i mean we haven't seen volume like this in such a long time we saw some volume like that in february a little bit in march then we didn't see anything then here we are in may and you can see a lot of buyers here a lot of accumulation going on here on this tape so definitely keep a watch on bhat but i want to show you something else and this is why i like it as well i really like on finviz how they show you the um institutional ownership you can see here sorry the uh, insider ownership 
and uh, you know institutions have some interest as well but I mean you can see here that the insiders own 67.29 that is a lot of ownership in internally so keep that in mind also the float is not that big so let's take a closer look at the weekly chart so you can see here on this weekly chart you can see for the last three trading days the stock's been going up each day you can also see that we do have a pocket pivot and we can see that the stock is starting to expand and we can actually take a closer look at the different levels here on the stock so you know you can see here that uh, the stock closed around 144 so there is a good opportunity that this could have a pullback um, definitely like to see if there is a pullback have an opportunity here but I do like this new uptrend so some levels that we could see here we could see the two dollar levels we could see 250 we could see three 344 resistance really at 488 let's just look at the weekly chart a little closer and let me just pull that up here so you can see we kind of have the same levels but let me just go back to the daily for a sec okay so here's a bit of a, a more tighter snapshot you can see here that we have that resistance right here at 149 so we really want to see a break above that and if it does break you know we could see around the 160s we could see even 175 two dollars and 225 maybe 250 as well but we need to see this continuation and you could see here all these green bars so we are seeing the stock being purchased and uh, we like that the MACD is rising so we like it above the zero so you can see here that it is above zero we like that signal so if you're gonna take this trade in my opinion I'm looking at this for a swing continuation you can even day trade the stock so I am looking at this for a continuation of this trade from the trade from the close on Friday like I said this could have a pullback we do have uh, low support here at 87 cents and we have a pivot here at 103 so if you can even you know get an uh the stock here at these lower levels um that's to your advantage so again you know keep your position size in mind keep your stops in mind and then you have some targets that i did review with you but i am liking the chart it is bullish for continuation and let's see what the market shows us tomorrow next we'll talk about cjjd Okay, so on CJJD, this is the China Jojo drugstore. You know, they got four business segments. They got retail drugstores, online pharmacy, wholesale distribution of products, and also the cultivation and sale of herbs for Chinese medicine. This chart is just beautiful. Let me show you what's going on here. So not tons of news on the stock, to be honest. Um, there's just hasn't been any real PRs here, but... The reason I like this, I mean, I have traded the stock before, and it, it looks like it's definitely back on this uptrend. I mean, what I really like about it, again, I actually am a huge fan of pocket pivots. I love them because, for those of you that are not familiar with what a pocket pivot is, it's kind of like a footprint trying to show you that the volume for that day is higher than any volume for a down day in the last 10 days 10 trading days so you can kind of see if you go back 10 days ago obviously the stock wasn't at the levels where it closed which is here at 250 so we have had a bit of a little breakout here you can see that on this candle we closed at 250 we are at 52 week highs so it definitely looks to me that there could be some news coming uh, we don't have earnings yet on this actual company, so we're still waiting for that information. So definitely keep this on watch for a potential continuation. We do have a pivot here at $2.14. If we can break this $2.50, we can definitely see $2.80s and probably $3. And uh, keep this on your watch because you might even just want to day trade it. Obviously, manage your stops. We have a low support here as well around the 187 we do have support obviously at the 50 day mark at 183 so keep cjjd also your china play stock 
and um, I think it's looking really nice for a continuation. So I guess we'll just have to see how this one plays out. Again, there is really no news on this, and just strictly at this point, fundamentals, unless, of course, some sort of PR is in the works. You can also see here on the MACD that it is above the zero, which I do like, and so we are seeing obviously that it is definitely overbought as well. So we is definitely has strength in the stock. You'd like to see the charts going up. We definitely don't like to see them going down on this pattern. So I'm just trying to keep the explanations simple. A lot of new people trying to learn about um, these penny plays. And so I'm just trying to keep things simple and easy for you all to understand. Also, if you want to just research yourself about the company and the stock, you can just go, like I said, to finviz.com, enter the, the uh, symbol CJJD in your search bar, and then when it brings you the actual chart, which you see right here, all you need to do is click the blue button right here where the company's in bold. You just click it. And then, beautiful, voila, you have the actual uh, website of the company. So you don't have to do any kind of digging and, um, you know, try to do a Google search. You don't need to do all that. That's what I really like about Finviz. Just click here, the bold area, it takes it to the company's website. So last but not least, you can see the insiders have a decent um, size here. We can see institutions here, 23.4%. The float is not bad either, so definitely keep this on watch. Um, definitely, me personally, I like it for a swing trade and uh, definitely um, have a position already uh, from Friday. So my position's not very big actually because I didn't. I took it very late in the day. And then I'm looking to add on the break of 250 because that is kind of where I saw some resistance here. So let's see what we do tomorrow. Keep this on watch. Have a great trading week, everyone, and hopefully you'll do well with these penny plays. Again, I'm just sharing ideas, and please manage your stop losses and certainly um, position size accordingly. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night.